My name is Juan Carlos Navia, and uh, the Trade Commissioner of the Canadian Embassy in Bogota. Uh, I'm part of the, the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service. Let me lower, lower this a little bit. Uh, what we do, our mandate is to promote Canadian exports to the Colombian market. Uh, we are placed in many cities across, uh, across Canada and across uh, the world. Uh, in Colombia, we only have one office here in Bogota. Uh, um, I joined the, the, the embassy 15 years ago, 16 years ago, covering this sector because this is my background. And uh, two, three years ago, they assigned me a new portfolio is what is called the pharma sector or life science sector. And there's not a, a lot of activity here in, in, in life science, but uh, the, the most of the activity goes into medical cannabis in that front. Um, let's go to the next page, please, um, Veronica. And Juan Carlos, remember you, um, you're not really opening the presentation, we're sharing it afterwards, but maybe okay. we can, Aaron, can you uh, open the, the link, the presentation? No, I can have it, I can have it here, I can have it here. Um, I have a full presentation, a longer presentation, we're going to make it uh, summarize just as uh, a matter of the time. And the other panelists were mentioning, uh, Colombia is the third largest in GDP in South America. The middle, class is, the middle class is growing recently and the population, there's a lot of the growth of the young population, meaning that young people, the millennials and everything are looking for new flavors, uh, exotic flavors new packaging, new foods, so they are eager to try new products. Uh, that's one thing. And just to trade, just a matter of mention, uh, bilateral trade between Canada and Colombia in the previous 10, 12 years has risen in, 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 in about 54%. And uh, mainly because uh, Canada and Colombia, we have a free trade agreement that, was, that began, it was launched in 2011, that's almost 10 years ago. And recently, most recently, Canada is a, uh, working towards becoming an associate state of the Pacific Alliance, as the previous uh, presenter was saying, with Mexico, Chile, Peru, and Colombia, the Alianza del Pacifico. So just to talk about bilateral trade between Canada and Colombia in terms of agriculture products, uh, Canada export to Colombia in 2019, $536 million, and Colombia exported to Canada 490 million. So it's pretty much an even balance. Uh, uh, main Canadian products in Colombia are uh, wheat is number one, lentils, uh, beans, peas, pork meats, uh, barley from time to time. We also have uh, pork meats and beef. And main Col Colombian products to Canada are coffee, of course, coffee, uh, sugar, bananas, fresh cut flowers, that's roses and carnations, and fish products, believe it or not. I mean, tilapia, tilapia, Colombian tilapia is gaining a lot of space in Canada. And uh, part of our service is not only uh, to identify who the buyers are in Colombia, but also to show Canadian exporters the processes to get to this market. So usually we focus on the, the following market channels, like retailers, the one that, that we're mentioning, uh, the Exito in Medellin, Olimpica in Barranquilla, Senko Sud Jumbo in Bogota, uh, wholesale, wholesale trap formats like Alcosto, uh, and the, the hard discounters that are gaining a lot of momentum here in Colombia, D1, D1, Justo Bueno, and, and Ara. Also wholesalers as well. So we deal with a, a, little, bit of, a, a little bit of everything in terms of uh, food distribution. Also with companies that are like food manufacturers, we have Grupo Nutresa, it's Colombia's largest food manufacturing company in Medellin and in Bogota, Arinera del Valle in Cali, Colombina as well. So we, we deal with a whole a group of companies. Mm, what else? With this type of products, with this sector, it is important to know that you have to, you have to deal with what is called the sanitary agencies. Sanitary agencies, Colombia has two, ICA, ICA, and INVIMA. Each of them has its own role. ICA focuses more on basic primary production. INVIMA focuses on products that are labeled for retail. So they have a different role. 
Uh, in the case of meets, uh, you have to deal with both agencies. So that's part of, the, part of our service too, is to let our Canadian companies know the process that you need to do to reach this market. Uh, in terms of our, our, how we see the sector here, the agriculture and the agri-food sector, we cover main four areas. First one is the grains and pulses, which is like commodity type of products. The second ones are like meat products, that's beef, pork, uh, fish, and everything. The other one is uh, uh, like livestock genetics, like salmon embryos and, and, and live animals. It's not pretty much the, the, the area of this presentation right now, but it's also something that Canada sells a lot here in Colombia. And, and the new pro the products are considered to be retail, for retail, especially for retail. That's something that, and a space that we have for growth, an opportunity that we have for growth. And Colombia is uh, always trying, Colombian consumers, trying to, 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 to use or to try new products. So that's, that's basically what it is. Mm, as part of our service from the Canadian Trade Commission and Service, we offer four basic services. One of them is preparation for international markets, a, a, a market potential assessment, a key contact search, and troubleshooting. Yeah, troubleshooting. From time to time, it happens. When you send a container and the container is missing some documentation or the container gets stopped at the port and uh, because ICA is asking X, Y questions because it's got a, some kind of product or a pest or something like that. So we provide a service that is called uh, uh, troubleshooting. It happens from time to time. And um, also at the embassy, we have present the services of EDC. EDC, X Export Development Canada, is a crown corporation that is very useful for Canadian exporters because you can, they can ensure their receivables. So that's another service that the, that the embassy provides here in Bogota. Uh, 